guys how it's all going hope you all are fine guys just imagine that you are enjoying a beautiful nice holiday in alaska you are roaming here and there suddenly you visit a farmer fair everything is nice beautiful short and sweet but suddenly you see such a big crowd now to check out what's going on you push into the crowd and suddenly a thrill ran into your spine you saw such a thing which dropped your jaw and it is the perfect example of the case when what the eye saw is totally true but the brain doesn't believe what the eye saw because you saw something huge i mean very huge because you saw this now what is this gigantic thing is it a vegetable yeah it looks like a vegetable though doesn't this picture look like a giant pumpkin so yeah these are vegetables but how did this vegetables get so gigantic and how did they become a monster that we'll discuss in the further video but just imagine that can we grow this monster vegetables at our home in the home yeah we can and in this video i'm also going to include how to grow these gigantic vegetables at our house so stay tuned and today we are going to discuss about the giant vegetables and full detail about them so let's move forward but before proceeding if you are new to our channel don't forget to press the like button and share with your friends and family so that they can also get to know about giant vegetables and if you think this video was interesting don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well to get the notification whenever i upload a new video so now let the mystery begin now as i told you in the starting that these giant vegetables only grow in alaska but what's the reason these vegetables like cabbage and broccoli carrot and beetroot etc also grow in many other places why don't they grow gigantic in these places also so there is one main reason that is more sunlight so according to the geographical map if you see alaska is very near to the equator and we all know that the equator gets most of the sunlight from the sun so yeah the mornings in the alaska is long and the nights is very short and one more thing i would like to say that the countries which get more sunlight their crops are more sweet because sunlight helps in the production of sugar in the crops like vegetables and fruits now actually all of you might know that there are two types of crop seasons Uh, well, it's crops. One is the crop which absorbs more sunlight, and the second one is that the crops who absorb less sunlight. First, in Alaska, the crops which absorbs more sunlight and who love sunlight, they it's not unusual for them. so they don't grow gigantic but coming to the crops which need less sunlight to grow in normal size for them extra sunlight is 
unusual so they grow gigantic and for the example for these crops which don't grow gigantic they are watermelon and tomato and coming to the crops which grow gigantic they are as i already told you carrot beetroot cabbage broccoli and much more now you might get a question that where can we see these giant veggies live so so there is a state fair of alaska in palmar annually which comes there these giant vegetables are always gathered so that the tourists and exhibitors can see these giant vegetables live there you can find these giant vegetables in action so actually the state fair are not only a fair also a competition a co- crop competition and it has two levels but we will not go to the levels and whoever wins that competition their produce is donated to the alaska wildlife conservation center so that the big animals can enjoy the big produce and that's company december the 15th so now and that way you get a large onion this is the time uh, to show you six, such an information which you were waiting uh, for a very the, long time season. because so now we, we are going to discuss about number one how to grow mix. these giant vegetables uh, at your home the, um, but before discussing the best, that it's the best for all around i know that two questions might be raised in your mind replant that in alaska then, the sunlight uh, is more this is why these light, giant vegetables like grow there but how paper. can i grow it in well, my home because there is not so much sunlight as compared to alaska and the second question is but that will these giant vegetables be sweet as compared to alaska for each person so the wants. answer of the first question is yes you can uh, grow way, the giant vegetables the giant vegetables at your place and they're nice to plant but out you will have to need optimum February. conditions and according to uh, the scientist they say you that you have to keep it spoons. in a very outside yeah. in a very sunny temperature Tilted. and sweet onions not down that small. you Fine. have to give this plants warm water not too hot not too cold and warm water just go through okay and so so these were the cases and each. coming to the second question one. which is that will these giant vegetables be sweet time consuming so, work but it i searched a lot for this questions answer but i, I didn't find any intersecting lines not in the middle of so, the yeah. yeah yeah there is an acceptation ex- expectation so that these vegetables do, will be sweet track of how many you've done but what's your opinion comment me down below and what we have to do the list you can see here on the screen now
friends i would like to end today's video so if you have liked today's amazing topic then give us a like and subscribe our channel and for proper updates press the bell icon as well and give your valuable comments in the comment section so it's all for today till then good bye